As we mentioned there, the heavy rains yesterday leading to some flooding problems in parts of southern Lancaster County. Now 10 11 this morning, producer Ryan Swanigan is near Hickman right now showing us that area. Ryan, where exactly are you and what are you seeing right now? Brian, I'm at 54th and Hickman Road just on the west side of Hickman, the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. Late last night, putting up these barricades, you can see here, uh, there's one here blocking uh, traffic going eastbound into Hickman. And then you can see down that way where all those vehicles are starting to congregate. That's the other barricade there right by the railroad tracks. And actually we got traffic starting to uh, pop up right next to me here. Looks like this is the mail management service pulling up. But uh, yeah, right now, uh, from what LSO told me, there's uh, water on the road on Hickman Road down here, just on the west side of Hickman. So other areas of Southern Lancaster County affected by water over the road. We're gonna try and drive around the area and see other spots that have been affected and we'll continue to update you guys as the morning progresses. Laura. Well, damage and debris after storms with heavy winds and heavy rain yesterday, including in Southern Lancaster County where the floodwaters have risen. 10 11 this morning producer Ryan Swanigan is in Hickman right now with a live look at what people there are dealing with. Ryan, what are you seeing right now? Brian, I'm at 54th and Hickman Road. I'm actually just moved to the east side of the railroad tracks here on the west side of Hickman. Uh, and as daylight approaches and provides a little bit more light on the situation, you can see there is water over a good chunk, if not all of Hickman Road. Uh, between the two areas of 54th. One's on the west side, one's on the east side of the tracks. But there is a very large amount of water that spans from a good area both north and uh, both on the north and the south side of Hickman Road. You can also see off to my left over here, this is just next to the Hickman Fire Station. You've got wa uh, water that's kind of pooled up there. So the situation down here in Hickman is don't use Hickman Road. Don't try and drive around the barricades. Lancaster County Sheriff's Office set these up late last night because of the water on the road. Again, Hickman Road on the west side of Hickman covered with water. But Laura, over to you. Well, as we mentioned here, heavy rains yesterday leading to some flooding problems in parts of southern Lancaster County. 10 11 this morning, producer Ryan Swanigan is near Hickman right now showing us that area. Ryan, where exactly are you and what are you seeing? Well, Brian, I have moved into the downtown district of Hickman. I am on East 2nd Street. Actually, this is Main Street right here, Locust Street back to my uh, east. And within the last, within the last 10 minutes, all of these dump trucks have just showed up. So what has happened down here, as you can see, uh, there was definitely a lot of flooding that occurred overnight. Uh, BNSF, it looks like, has called in these dump trucks to add all of this rock to pile up along what looks like some sort of construction zone of theirs that they're doing or that they have along the railroad tracks here in downtown Hickman. We're on the southwest side of the town. So you can see right now uh, they're adding more rock, trying to uh, beef up what looks like some sort of protection for their supplies as uh, this area down here in downtown Hickman really saw some bad flooding. You can see these tracks. That's all mud. This is all mud here in Hickman that just uh, collected from the floodwaters that ran through the town last night. So very interesting situation here uh, in downtown Hickman, Laura. Damage and debris after storms with high winds and heavy rain last night, including in southern Lancaster County where the floodwaters rose. 10 11 this morning's producer Ryan Swanigan is in Hickman right now with a live look at what people there are dealing with. Ryan, what are you seeing? Brian, I am at East 2nd and Main Streets here in downtown Hickman, the business district. Right now, BNSF working on uh, getting rock 
what looks like they're uh, getting more rock posted in this area where this railroad crossing is and the railroad tracks run uh, along the southwest side and the west side of Hickman uh, as a result of this flooding. Um, lots of damage down here in this area where the waters got very high. Uh, one thing that's consistent down here and across all of Hickman is tree damage. I failed to mention this earlier. There's a lot of tree damage throughout the town. Something else I want to show you guys. Uh, I just talked with the uh, city assist, uh, the assistant city administrator with Hickman. This is where a statue used to be. They picked it up in the middle of the night or uh, in the middle of the evening in the flooding last night, put it in the middle of the road, and now it is on the other side of the road. And you can see all of these tire tracks here. That's mud from all the water or uh, that mud that was left there by the water from the flooding last night. So uh, as you can see the last uh, truck carrying rock as BNSF continues to work to put it over here by these railroad tracks. Uh, quick reminder, Hickman Road is closed between 54th and the railroad tracks on the west side of the town.